Lynn Fleming loved the water. More than anything, she loved taking a stroll on the beach. During a walk along the beach, the 77-year-old grandmother slipped and fell in the water. When she got up, she noticed a small cut. She didn't think much of it and had no idea that deadly flesh-eating bacteria was already working its way into her bloodstream. It's been an absolute nightmare. Wade Fleming is her son. How big was that cut? It was probably, you know, just three quarters of an inch. Two days later, the wound got worse. Three surgeries followed, but it was too late. What could have been done differently to save your mom's life? Maybe it could have been diagnosed a little bit earlier that, you know, maybe we'd be dealing with, you know, just a bad leg injury and, uh, but not her life loss. This 12-year-old girl, Kylie Parker, also was infected with flesh-eating bacteria after stubbing her toe and then wading into the water. As we reported last week, doctors caught the disease in the nick of time. I'm very lucky to be alive. Now, Wade Fleming wants to get out the word to warn others about the dangers of flesh-eating bacteria and how a simple mishap from stubbing a toe to cutting your leg on a walk on the beach can lead to disaster. It's just unimaginable, and that's why we're trying to get the word out, you know, to hopefully save somebody else.